my 14-day Antarctic cruise on the Celebrity Infinity was almost over. I was sad to leave the ship, but I was also looking forward to my shore excursion in the Best of Buenos Aires, which would take us around the city, tour Recoleta Cemetery, and travel to a ranch where we would see a horse show and have lunch. Before long, we were on the excursion bus and driving by the taxis dropping off the new passengers for the Infinity's trip to Chile. An interesting side note, as we left the ship, we did not go through any kind of customs or immigration check. I'd never had that happen before. The amazing architecture of Buenos Aires really stands out, and the train station was no exception. Throughout the day, we'd see several more examples of Art Deco, Art Nouveau, and my favorite, neoclassical design. Often referred to as the Paris of South America, it was easy to see the impact that European migration in the early 1900s had on the city. It was hard not to notice the juxtaposition of the stately buildings set against the obvious poverty issues throughout the area. Raised in a place with significant socioeconomic issues myself, I have a great deal of empathy for hardworking people who still struggle to make ends meet. It was a Saturday and lots of people were enjoying parks and open spaces as we drove by. Soon we were in the Recoleta area, which reminded me a lot of the Rodeo Drive, Santa Monica areas in Hollywood in California. Soon we were parked and on our way into the Recoleta Cemetery. Let's talk about this place for a minute. The first public cemetery, it was originally called the Northern Cemetery. It has been referred to as one of the 10 most beautiful cemeteries in the world. And in its 14 acres can be found nearly 5,000 vaults. The Recoleta Convent from 1732 that originally stood here is gone, but an 1822 design by French engineer Prospero Cataline and later improved by Italian architect Juan Antonio Buccellato, leaves the impression of a mausoleum city with intersecting avenues. With the height restriction, some mausoleums have been excavated to two and three sub-basements to house more family members over the centuries. 94 of the mausoleums have been named as National Historical Monuments. The architecture of the cemetery mirrors the city's buildings with many of the same styles, including Neo-Gothic, Baroque, Art Deco, and Art Nouveau. Interspersed in the imported Parisian statues in Milan marble are other more basic tombs that have, over time, been forgotten. I'm still thinking about this resting place becoming a tourist stop. A thousand people a day wandering through, standing gape mouthed in front of brilliant stone carvings, peeking through broken glass, and taking selfies in front of visible caskets, uh, loudly talking about how hot it is. Maybe my North American sensitivity to the subject and my desire to be a good visitor left me thinking that it was just a bit disrespectful. On the other hand, regardless of our differences, I think we can all agree that memorializing our lost loved ones with a tangible, beautiful, and sincere resting place is really one of the last things that we can do to care for someone we love. The final resting place of Eva Perón is in the Duarte family mausoleum. Her glass coffin had been displayed to the public in a state house for years, and because of revolution and strife, it was moved several times eventually interred safely in her family vault. The mausoleum built for Liliana Cassiati de Sazak, who died in 1970 at the age of 26 in an Austrian avalanche, is decorated with bronze statues of Liliana and her dog Sabu, life-size statues sculpted by Werdeval Vladerik. It shows her in her wedding dress with her hand on her faithful dog. A plaque shows a poem written by her father. Here's some of it. To my daughter. Only I ask myself why you left and left my heart destroyed that wanted only you. Why? Why? Only destiny knows the reason. And I ask myself, why? Because we can't be without you. 
Why? You were so beautiful that invidious nature destroyed you. Why? I only ask myself why, if God exists, does he take away that which is not his? Because he destroys us and leaves us to an eternity of sadness. Why? I believe in fate and not in you. Why? Because I only know that I always dream with you. Why is that? For all the love my heart feels for you. Why? Why? Your Papa. Recoleta means to remember, and the 14 acres are a testament to remembering lost loved ones. It is a remarkable place. I will return someday when I have more time.